Hey, Bolo Buddies. So I have a fun little video for you guys and um, not a, shouldn't be too long, but these are things that you could pick up in a barn at perhaps an estate sale or maybe even a garage sale. I don't know, but very, very strange item, kind of something that you wouldn't really maybe even know what it is if you saw it and that's why i want to share it so it's super cool if you haven't subscribed be sure to subscribe and we are going to get rolling here all right so if you just saw this picture don't look at the title what on earth would you think that this is All right, guys, it is a vintage antique mouse trap. How crazy is that? This sold, oh, I'm sorry, this one still, I guess it's an auction. I was thinking I pulled up um, solds, but this is an auction and it's going right now. It's currently at 81.50 and has eight bids, 16 watchers. All right, so here's another one. And these are all so um, different. I mean, look at this. How wild is this? And it shows you how it opens, some maybe mouse droppings in there, yuck. Anyway, this one's up for auction also. It has 15 bids, 11 watchers, and it's currently at 76.50. All right, here's another one. This one is a sold. Uh, it went for $350 with 25 bids. So guys, if you see this in a barn, and you're like, what is it? It might be worth researching. I mean, I would never think, oh, that's a mouse trap. Crazy, crazy, crazy. It looks like it falls down on the mouse. So, and it, I'm guessing this is maybe one that catches it and you can let it go. Maybe they all are. Kind of appear to be. Like it just, they go into it and then you can release the mouse. Okay, so this one, I'm not sure if this is a release the mouse. I don't know, that one looks kind of scary. Uh, this one is from the 1930s. It's a mouse tin trap by uh, Webster City, Iowa, mint condition, 27 bids, it sold for $150. So, uh, Here's another one. And I, I just think these are very cool and very interesting. And again, probably not something you're gonna see a lot of, but if you do, at least you'll kind of know, oh, hey, that's a mouse trap. But it, I don't know if these are handmade, but uh, I mean, check out these things. Goes in. So very cool. Sold for $134. Here's another one. I have no idea. This is, it says, trap fruit jar lid. So this is just the lid of one and maybe you just put it on any jar. Uh, it went for 105. This is a, um, this one's still in the package. It's a live trap, it's mint condition. It says now serving peanut butter. <laughs> anyway, super cute. Uh, it doesn't appear to have been used. And it gives you the instructions here. How funny is that? Two bids sold for $99.99. All right, here's another one. Okay, so this one I do believe was a best offer. And I'm going to look up what it sold for. So I'm going to copy the item number. And I'm going to go into flippertools.com. If you guys have not used this, it's fantastic for finding out what best offer items sold for. So eBay, best offer, actual selling price. You click on that. Again, this is flippertools.com right here. You put the item number, I just cut and paste, and you hit okay, and it's gonna take you in, and it tells me that this mousetrap sold for $75 best offer. And if you look here, it shows the original asking price was 175. So uh, Flipper Tools, it's awesome. I'm so excited about this, and I try to share it in a lot of my videos because I think it's brilliant, and I want everybody to know about it, so. He also has a Facebook group if you wanna, um, once you go in here, you can click on that so you can see updates of other things that he's sharing um, with everyone. So it's very cool. 
All right, so another mouse trap. Now this one is, you know, we are all more familiar with these. This is an antique vintage one because it's so old, but these are, uh, I think most of us have seen these in our lifetime. Uh, not a huge bolo, but 21, 49, 23 bids, but the shipping was $12 and 10 cents. So I'm not sure why the shipping was so much. I mean, this thing can't weigh very much. Maybe they thought it was gonna go for more money and they were trying to incorporate in insurance, I'm not sure. But hey, if you could get a bunch of them cheap, buy it for a buck, sell it for 21, I'd take that. All right, here's another one. This one's Bakelite, so that probably is what increased the value. Um, but yeah, that looks a little scary. I would be scared if I was a mouse. That one looks like it might hurt a little bit. 15 bids, $61. All right, here's another very cool one. Um, $66, 10 bids. But look at this thing. I mean, how crazy. I mean, they all look almost handmade to me or, you know, I mean, just very cool. So. There you go, guys. That is it for the mouse traps. But I thought it was fun. I thought it was cool. I thought I would share it with you. That way, if you see something like this, it might give your mind like a, a where a where to go with it. Oh, this might be a mouse trap because I if I saw this, I would be like, what is that? Like, what is that? What is that? I mean, yeah, it's got a hole I, that you can something goes into. Would I think it was a mouse trap? No, that wouldn't be my first thought. I don't know what my first thought would be, but this, it would not be that this is a mouse trap. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching and have a great night. And if you like this video, click like. If you have a comment or if you've sold a vintage or an antique mouse trap, comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.